everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Crypto Tips. So the more people that come into cryptocurrency, the more people who need to securely store their cryptocurrency. And an easy way to do this is with one of these bad boys. It's called a Ledger Nano S. It is a hardware wallet. So today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a Ledger Nano S in a way that you can safely and securely store your cryptocurrencies. And go ahead and share this video with anyone who you know is concerned about this and is looking for a better way to store their cryptos. Okay, so here's the Ledger Nano S. Bust it open. All right, so here is my Ledger Nano S. And before I get started setting this up, I did just want to speak a little bit on why you might be interested in using a hardware wallet rather than, say, keeping your coins on an exchange or maybe doing even a paper wallet or using a hot wallet like Jax, for example. So the benefit of hardware wallets is that you're able to take your coins essentially offline and store them onto this device. And once you unplug it from your computer, no one can get a hold of it. But also what's really cool for hardware wallets is that the only way for you to make any kind of transfer to or from this device is by pushing the buttons, physically pushing these buttons. So even if a hacker knows that you have this and uh, they really wanna get inside of it, they can only access it if they have it in their hand and if they have your pin code. So that is all the more reason for you to set a very secure eight digit long pin code. So that's the first kind of line of defense for this hardware wallet is your pin code. So, so when you do the setup process, you'll have the option of doing four digits up to eight digits. So I would suggest doing eight digit pin code and not anything like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because that's a pretty easy guess. Okay, so let's get this set up, shall we? Let's connect it to my computer by plugging in the device. Welcome! So to get started, you'll push both buttons and it will ask you if you'd like to configure as new device and check mark for confirmation. Yes, please. So first thing to do is choose a pin code. And um, once you're ready to choose a pin code, you will hit both buttons to confirm. And it will give you options up to eight digits long. So the way this works is it starts out on number five. You can use the left and right buttons to scroll up and down. Once you come across a number that you would like to have in your pin code, hit both buttons down to confirm it, and then it will move on to the next spot for the next number. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out right now. So once you fill out your pin code the first time, they will ask you to confirm your pin code. So you'll put it in a second time. And once it's filled out and it matches, they will ask you to then write down your recovery phrase. So the recovery phrase is a very important 12 word phrase that you can use to restore your coins that are being stored on this device in case this ever gets lost, damaged, stolen, whatever happens to it, if for, every, if for whatever reason you can't access your coins on this, you can use your recovery phrase to gain, to gain access to those coins. So, once you are ready to write down, and oh, <laughs> very important, write down this recovery phrase. Do not type it out and keep it on your desktop. Do not keep it on anything that is connected to the internet. The thing with cryptocurrency is that it is full of people who are really good at computers and you are not being too paranoid by writing this down and keeping it somewhere very safe, even somewhere where maybe if your house catches on fire, God forbid, or if there's a flood or something. If there's anything that happens to this recovery phrase and your device is lost, stolen, damaged, pretty much there goes all your cryptocurrencies. So if you value what is on here, take good care of this device and also take better care of that recovery phrase. So let me write down my recovery phrase. Write down these words correctly, do not misspell them. And also it is very important that you write these in the correct order. If you don't write these in the correct order, you will not be able to back up your coins. Right after they're done giving you your 24th word, they're going to randomly ask you just to verify what word is number five, what word is number 11, and then that's how you'll know that you have the right phrase. You get this happy little message that says your device is now ready. 
So once your device is all ready and set up, you can go to Google Chrome web browser and it has to be Google Chrome because that is where you're going to be downloading the apps that will allow you to interact with this device. So a really easy way to do this is go to start.ledgerwallet.com. Welcome, get started with Ledger. So to begin, select your Ledger device from the list below. And this is a Ledger Nano S. So I will select this one and I want to configure my device. Now you can click on this if you need more information, if you're stuck on a step, if maybe I didn't explain it that well. And you can scroll down and there's a link for a really easy download of the Bitcoin wallet, the Ethereum wallet. There's also an option for a Ripple wallet. And you can do also the app manager, which allows you to download a whole host of different coin wallets that you can ultimately store on your hardware wallet. So let's go ahead and check that out. If you need additional information or some visual assistance for how the device works, go to start.ledgerwallet.com. And after selecting the hardware wallet that you are working with, you can go to configure device. Now this is where you'll find detailed information on how the device works, what the buttons do, and the steps that you'll take to set up the device. Once you're ready to download some wallet apps so that you can begin storing your cryptos on the ledger, this site makes it pretty easy to find and download them. Just click on the link here to download the app that you want. Now today I'll go ahead with Bitcoin and Ethereum. If you're going to want to store more than just these coins, then go ahead and download the app manager as well. This is what is going to allow you to download a number of different wallets so that you can store a number of different cryptos on your device. Now that these apps are installed, let's check out how to access them and how to load the coins onto the Ledger Nano S. So let's check out the Bitcoin wallet. Go ahead and open the app. You'll then be prompted on your computer to connect and unlock your Ledger. So if you've been following along with the setup process so far and your device is still plugged in, all you need to do is use the left and right buttons to find the Bitcoin symbol and then press both buttons to confirm. If you have just now connected your device, you'll need to first input your PIN code and then select the Bitcoin symbol. Now with the device connected and the app open, you'll see you have the choice to interact with the Bitcoin or the Bitcoin Cash blockchains. Both of these wallets are pretty much identical, so for the sake of time, I'll give you a quick overview of what the Bitcoin wallet looks like. You'll also be prompted to choose the legacy chain or the SegWit option. SegWit is offering faster and cheaper transactions, but I haven't yet tried this one, so I can't say from experience if this is actually the case. If you want to receive Bitcoin into this wallet, click on the receive option and it will give you the address you'll use to send Bitcoin to the hardware wallet. Conversely, if you want to send Bitcoin from this wallet, select the send option and fill out the amount and the address you'd like to send your Bitcoin to. The Ethereum app is also very similar to this, except you'll have the choice to interact with the Ethereum or Ethereum Classic blockchains. So when we began this journey today, you'll remember that on the start.ledgerwallet.com page, they presented the Bitcoin and Ethereum wallet apps as well as the app manager. So let's check out the app manager and see what kind of options we get for storing different cryptos on this device. They offer a great variety of different cryptos you can store on this device, but you need to know that you are limited to only five different types of cryptos for each Ledger Nano S. The app manager is what will add the wallet options onto your actual Ledger device, and the Bitcoin and Ethereum apps that you downloaded from the website are what will allow you to see and interact with the coins that are stored on the device. So the Ethereum app allows you to store Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, and the Bitcoin app allows you to store Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, as well as a number of the other altcoins like Litecoin and Pivx, for example. So if you want to interact with Litecoin or Pivx with this device, you'll need to open the Bitcoin app on your computer and then select the Litecoin or Pivx icon on your actual device to connect to that wallet. Now here's a trick. If you want to store a Ripple on this device, you'll need to first download the Ripple option from the app manager here, and then you'll need to go to ledgerwallet.com slash apps slash Ripple. Now this is an app that will run outside of Google Chrome, so you won't actually see this app as an option in your web browser. It instead will be listed in your apps on your actual computer. So that's about it for the setup of the Ledger Nano S. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below so we can discuss it. 
That's all I have for you today on Crypto Tips. So if you like what you see here, give this video a like. Share this one with your friends so you can spread the crypto knowledge and keep them from getting hacked, hopefully. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit subscribe to get your weekly fix of all things crypto.